Hello, and welcome to the Casino Tears podcast. I'm one of your hosts, 10 Ton is number one, and joining me as my co-host is the one and only Ed Robinson from Roll to Win Craps. If you want more info on our show, please visit our page at casinotears.com. On this week's show, we discuss South Point, Secret Shopping, Tipping Waitresses, M Resort, Silverton. We also touch on Six Foot Tables, Double Odds, Manta Rays, Dogs, and why 10 ton hates paying the VIG up front. Oh, Ed. Yeah. What? I like it. What? The Casino Tears t shirt. Does it make me look younger? <laughs> yeah, it does. It, may- it needs to be a V neck. I don't think I wish was it was a V neck. Listen, man, we can always make V necks, low cut. I mean, you can't be in a bind. You know, when you're playing craps or when you're hunting craps. V-necks are great, man. I used to love wearing V-necks. I talked to a guy that, that while, just, just while ago, actually, that was there at opening weekend of crap season. And he reminded me that he was the only one wearing camo. Oh, really? That's good. Yeah. And I said, you know what? You were right. You 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 had on camo. I had on, I was looking for street craps. He was looking for wild craps. We've been working on the, uh, on the hunting license. That's what I'm telling everybody. I can't wait to show you. It's getting there, man. I do need a little brown water, though. Can I get some brown water real quick? By all means. Isn't that part of the show? Uh, it's part of everything I do these days, I think. Even though that Fiji water you were drinking, I was drinking that stuff like it was going to be my last day in the desert. It's my preferred water to drink. Yeah, mine too. Commercial for Fiji. Yeah, I know. I don't know if we can get that endorsement going. Checks in the mail, Fiji. Send it, send it, yeah. send it. Ed, you're the first person I've seen besides myself wearing the Casino Tear shirt. And I've got the good one. I got the black with the green letters. Black with the green, yep. I've got the... Uh, it's money green. It's called money green, right? Money green. That's awesome, dude. I will, hopefully, shortly, instead of wearing this beautiful, uh, you know, American flag hat, Yeah. the Casino Tear hats are going to be ready soon. Good, good. I want to see, I want one. Ed, I ordered a black on black one. A black on black? Yeah, it might be pretty sweet. And it might be invisible. Yeah, but it's the, no, they're they're cool. We'll see. I give all of options, man. You never know what color I'll show up with now. We'll have five different colors. But black on black, like ACDC back on black. Like that album cover. Be sweet. I was just talking, just got off the phone 10 minutes ago with somebody else with a handle that likes. Who? Well, I was talking to Oz earlier, and Oz, like, man, I really love the show. Oz? Yeah. Oz? Oh, <laughs> Wizard of Oz? Yeah, that guy. Yeah. yeah. Oz. Where is Oz? OZ. 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 Down in Florida. What is that short for? Is it Ozzy? No. You can't tell me? It's part of his name. Nice. No. Uh, it could be Oswald. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, that's old school. Yeah. Old school name. Okay, so Oz. And then I talked to... I talked to El Toro just five minutes ago. Oh, nice. El Toro. <laughs> Did El Toro listen? Yes. He 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 says, you guys are hilarious. I said, thank you. Oh, nice. El Toro. Nice. So so shout out to El Toro. Yeah. And uh, and Oz. And Oz. Yeah. I'm really happy that we're putting some smiles on people's faces. Ed. Yeah. I mean, that's what it's about. It is really. Fat and killing your eardrums. It's hilarious. Lizard, we're not putting them through too much with that 30, 35 minute sweet spot, not putting them through too much pain. I think they like that length. I, I, yeah. There's times, I admit, I want more when I listen to it, just listening as a listener. You know what? You always keep them wanting more, right? That's the old saying. Keep them wanting more. Yeah. And then it's a damn week. I got to wait a week. And by the time these come out, I can't even remember what we talked about. And then it's like new material to me. And I start laughing. I know. I know. <laughs> Same. Same. I have no idea, but that's what's good about it, man. These are like little little TV shows. But I'm really happy that that you're getting that feedback, that people are liking the show. It's, yeah, the feedback's awesome. Because it's about craps, but it's not about craps, but it's about craps. Yeah. So tell me what you've been up to, right? So, Ed. Talk to me. Man, I went out. Usually my sessions are one casino, we hit it, maybe two. Yeah. Okay? It's been a minute since I've been out, like, for an all-nighter. But this happened during the day. And, and I hit five casinos yesterday. Five of them. Oh, All right. 
You're a degenerate. Thank you. I'm glad I'm glad my partner is a degenerate too. I knew you'd love this. I went out with a and we've mentioned him before about Sheets Parlinsky. Okay. Good old Sheets. He's one of my best friends. Went to high school with him in Michigan. He lives out here now on my craps table is in his dining room. And I'm sure his wife loves me. I need to go. I need to go visit that table. Someday. Yeah. It's a beautiful, beautiful table with the old horseshoe legs. It is yeah. beautiful. But unfortunately, it is not in my place here. And it would look amazing ah, right here. I, I really think I could get it. I think I could <laughs> you get can't, it. You can't, dude. I really yeah, think I could get it. The only way you can get that table in here is if you cut it. And you'd have to cut it in a few spots because it will not fit in the elevators. What? You too, you're not you're not man enough to tote that thing up 30 floors of stairs? It won't fit. You can't. It cannot physically, unless we chopped it in half, and I don't think we should chop it in half. No, you can't chop that kind of that table in half. No. Then that's the problem. I mean, you just can't. It's so bittersweet. So I have to drive up to Summerlin to play on it and record on it. I want to go. Yeah, dude, you're you're going to go. So, Ed, so we went down south, okay? We started at M, M Resort. The M Resort. I played there many a time. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Nice, dude. Okay, cool. There's there's two tables right there in front of the cage, and then I think there's two more on the other side. Yeah, I liked it because I was like, oh, Ed would like this. It's a Raiders-themed casino. Yes, yeah, the home of the Raiders, yeah. I think the opposing teams stay there. That's where they put them. I've played there many a time. Casino's nice, man, how they laid that thing out. Oh, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful casino sitting out there all by its lonesome. I know. It's literally right on the border of Henderson, right there at the light. City of Henderson starts, and there's it's sitting right there. We used to we used to practice at uh Darth Nader's house right above it. Oh, nice. And then go play there. Darth Nader, man, looking down on M Resort. Yeah. So went in there. Saw all the Raiders shit. There was a one table open. It was packed. There was really no spot open. So we just continued to walk around and we're like, fuck it, let's go to the closest casino, which was South Point. <laughs> I'm disappointed in you. Went to went to South Point. Why 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 are you disappointed? <laughs> we didn't wait. Bye. We're like, okay, it's not meant to be. The casino's great. We'll be back another day. Let's go to South Point. Yep. Okay. So, Ed, I was telling you yesterday, I feel that this podcast is going to turn me into, and especially coupled with the fact that I'm going and playing like with 620 buy-ins, yeah, it's turned me into like almost like a secret shopper where I'm really just going to rate these casinos. I don't care if I go back. I will go back if I find something nice, but I'm going to tell you what I don't like and what I love about it. That's what we want. Yeah, man. That's what our that's what our listeners really want to hear too. They want to know somebody's opinion if they've never been there. But I'm just gonna say up front, stay away from South Point. But go ahead. Okay. So, do you want to hear why I don't like it? Or I want to hear. I want to hear. Okay. Yes. First of all, compliments to them for having so many tables open and full. They had six tables. Four were open, and I knew it would be like that. There's a lot of events that are going on at South Point. I think this time they had the canine something event going but they have rodeo they have a lot of shit going on there that's a can't miss <laughs> no, 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 it's real really i mean you got it if i'm gonna go watch dogs i'm definitely gonna go there <laughs> okay yeah i can't see you at the uh at the westminster dog show <laughs> although ed, ed have you ever had a dog yes what kind of dog was it which one which time I don't know. How many dogs have you had? I got a freaking schnauzer up the upstairs right now. You want a <laughs> schnauzer, dude? You want the schnauzer, man? I'll get rid of that sucker. He's a yipper, yapper, barker. What's a schnauzer's name? Had a schnauzer. <laughs> what is it? Don't ask me my dog's name. You'll put me on a spot. I can't remember. Dude. <laughs> I don't know the damn dog. Uh, He's a fucking barker. That's all I know. Barker, man. Barker. Gabe. Gabe? Yeah. Gabe, like Gabe Kaplan. Like Gabriel. Gabriel, nice. Like the archangel. My favorite dog was Abby. Abby? Yeah. What kind of dog was it? Uh, Springer Spaniel. Oh, nice. Yeah. She'd get up in my craps hunting truck and ride around town with me. Oh, nice, dude. Would take her, take Irish Setter, too. The Springer, the Springer Spaniel is a fantastic dog, but they shed a lot, but she was a great dog. Great, great dog. Dogs that I've had were boxers. Boxers are cool. They look like little humans. 
We got some mud upstairs right now named Bella. Oh, Bella. Yeah, seems like a popular name these days, Bella. Yeah, Bella. Bella is an old dog. My wife ran over her once. Yeah, it's hardy. Actually, <laughs> big Bella. This is no lie. I don't know why. I'd be get off on this shit. We're probably talking crap. My wife. I had I'd had surgery on my legs, and my wife was driving me home. Yep. And she goes to pull into the garage, and Bella came out of the garage, and all of a sudden, you feel you feel this bump, and the car is setting up. The front wheel is setting up way high. Yeah. And I look at my wife, of course, I'm on drugs. I went, yeah. just run over the damn dog. My wife has immediately got tears just streaming down her face. What did I do? What did I, do? I said, well, you got to let off the brake and get off of it so I can look at it and see how dead it is. And so she got off and we wrote, she rolled down and I got out of the car and I looked around the car and said, where's the freaking dog? Dog was gone. Where did it go? He went back in the garage. Oh, man. Bella's a strong. She was sitting up under the desk that was sitting in there. And, you know, that dog wasn't hurt. And, I mean, we had, I mean, the front wheel of a Murano was sitting on that dog's hip, most likely. What kind of dog is it? It's just a mix of big old, it's a big old ass dog. It looks, it looks like a. Survivor. Yeah. It looks like a sheep dog kind of a thing. Not a sheep dog. I'm sorry. One, one of those, that, that one of those dogs that round up the sheep. Border collies. Yeah, it looks like a border. It looks, it's got the markings of a border collie, but it's like 120 pounds. It's a big dog. I don't know. It's got long hair. That darn dog survived that thing. She's still sitting around upstairs. Good for her, man. It's not her time. I mean, it was not her time. Not going to go out like that. She's got a lot of arthritis right now. I'm yeah. Of that. All right. So, dude, South Point. Yeah. Tell me about South. All right. So, four tables, spot opened up. Wasn't a long wait, like five minutes. Some lady left, and all of a sudden, I was stick left one. $620 buy in. Here's issue number one double odds. So, double odds. So, that means on a four and 10, the most you could put is 20. Five and nine, the most odds you could have was 26. Yeah, even numbers, even numbers on odd numbers. And then six and eight, 30. Yeah. So, that's the max you could put on there. So, for our people out there, if you're playing the pass line, and the point is five or nine, your odds need to be an even number. So you play even odds on odd numbers. Actually, that's a good way to remember that. Even odds on odd numbers. Yep. Most of the places in Vegas, I'd say like what, 95% are three, four, five. Three, four, five. Yep. Meaning three times your bet on the four and 10, four times on the five and nine, five times on the six and eight. Sheets was with you, right? Oh, Sheets Parlinski. Okay, I forgot yeah. to tell you that. Like, we talked about the origin of his names because he makes a lot of parlays, uses a lot of Excel sheets and stuff like that. But also, there's a little Ted Kaczynski that's in there. You know, the Unabomber? <laughs> we mixed that yeah. in there, too, and that's how we got the Parlinski. He did not play craps. He just went and sat and he's a video poker guy. Parlinski is not really his name. No, no that's, a, that's a handle. So, I just need, I need, I need to call him. Sheets Parlinski, yeah, not you, just Sheets. Yeah, well, you know what? You shorten 10 ton like a first name. Is number one is like the last name. You just call me 10 ton. Okay, so he's Sheets. Yeah, yeah, so Sheets. Sheets just goes over and he's like, he's very content playing video poker because that's what he does. Mm -hmm. He's just a video poker guy. I can learn a lot about video poker actually from him. Okay, so strike one was the double odds. Strike two, again, I'd prefer something with a bonus. I like the bonus. I know... Real men can play on a table without a bonus, but you pair no bonus and then double odds, you know, two strikes. Yeah, yeah. Third strike, dude, when you were talking about heat, right? Feeling the heat, dude, which I love it when you say that. <laughs> they put the heat on you, didn't they? I think I caught a little heat, dude. They put a lot of heat on you at South Point. When I threw. It's on my no-fly zone. So I threw, and my hand extended, you know, a little into the... Man, I invaded this guy's airspace, the stick man's airspace. Did you slap him? Did you slap the stick man with the back of your hand? Oh, dude, it wasn't anything egregious either. It was just a normal, beautiful toss, by the way. My th throw was, just looked good yesterday. And it was a box guy there. And he just was sitting there not to. That's the other thing. I, I give the overall crew, like for enthusiasm, they get the Thumbs down. Not too enthusiastic in general. On a scale of one to ten, there are two. Yeah. 
Yeah, too. They, you know what? It wasn't this like there wasn't this infectious sort of vibe to them. And again, they didn't want they didn't really want to be there, and they were pissed that you were there, so they had to actually work. I don't know if they were pissed at me personally. Just everybody. Yeah. Again, it wasn't the most talkative. It was just meh. Yeah. Kind of thing. Add in those negatives, a double odds, no bonus, and then the box man telling me to move down to stick left two. I have to ask. Yeah, go ahead. Did you have to give a crap check to the guy to your left? <laughs> no, no. Did you have to check him? No, at that point, I there was I had a lot of elbow room. Oh, okay. So it was just me there. There was no one there. So I was like, you know what, dude? I almost wanted to pick up my fucking chips and just leave right then. Or sheets. Sheets should be on the table if he's going to learn. Sheets. Yeah, sheets. Sheets has wanted to go play video poker. I'm like, cool. I'm not going to force someone. Okay, sheets. That's a cop out. Just letting you know. You can win more money playing craps than you can play in video poker. I don't know, man. You know what? I might, I might be over at the bar soon soon enough sitting next to Sheets playing video poker. You can also lose more money at the craps table yeah. than you can play it. So I shot three times. I think I made it through 12 shooters total. And I decided to pack up my chips at 625 bucks. You made five bucks. Five bucks over the course of 12 shooters. So I was playing very judiciously, very cautiously. That's excellent. Yeah, I knew you'd like that. I'm proud of you for, you you know, using your gray matter and thinking the game through and playing it as it flowed instead of just going there with some freaking ass stupid system that you saw on YouTube. <laughs> okay, now, you know, now, okay, you know that I don't do that. I know. But I'm proud of you, though. Thank you. Uh, and it was just played within myself, playing what the game gave me. I started in the hole. I was down like 80 bucks quick. And then I used that time just to chip back up, chip back up. Real real players don't play at South Point. I'm telling their management staff that right now. Those of us that consider ourselves real crafts players don't ever walk into South Point anymore. Got to tell you, Ed, I told Sheets, I'm like, we're never fucking coming back to this place again. <laughs> I don't, I, we're never fucking coming back. I mean, listen, I was up. I was up technically if you want to get down to the nitty gritty. I mean, I probably tipped anywhere from like with with waitress and the crew anywhere from like 30 to 50 bucks. So I was, I mean, I definitely was. Uh, waitresses don't, the tips to waitresses don't count as wins or losses. Okay. Well. Because I just figure that is part of the, part of the privilege of their low cut tops. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. I mean, if we had to, if if anyone had wanted to get granular with me, I mean, I took those out of my rack here. That's the, Here's a good question for you. Go ahead. Sir Ten Ton. Yes. Because you are knighted. <laughs> I know. I have been knighted. <laughs> you, have, yep. you have been knighted into the craps brotherhood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> With an official handle. Yeah. How much do you tip a waitress? Let's say you want a bottle of water. What do you tip her? I don't know if you're going to agree with this, Ed, but I, my standard tip is five bucks Baller. because I want, no matter what, they're going to come back. They're never going to forget want me. want them to come back if you're thirsty. Yeah. And I'm always thirsty. If you're in Vegas. You got to stay hydrated. Exactly. When I was drinking and who knows when I'll go back to drinking, but I want them to remember me and come back. I kind of like the sober 10 times. <laughs> you never saw the non-sober one. I like the sober ten times. Listen, man, I don't... you never you don't know the sober <laughs> Ed. <laughs> no, you can't change. All right. <laughs> you can't. You're not allowed. So that's what I tip, especially if I'm there with someone. I want to make sure that they're that they have drinks and that they know five dollars ensures that they're coming back and they're like, okay, this guy's got priority. Or they won't at least won't yeah. fucking forget me. And who knows? It's yeah. nice to make these waitresses happy, you know? I'm sure they they deal with a lot of shit too, just like the crews deal with a lot of shit. But still, at least the waitresses come up and are smiling and nice. And, and they got cleavage. Yeah, add in a little cleavage, unlike the crews, which can be grumpy. And I know it's tough because you're doing your job, but guess what? A little goes a long way with me. I literally was thinking, should I pick up my fucking chips right now after this fucking asshole just told me to move down? I'm sorry if that's a little harsh, but that's what I think. I mean, God, you're the first guy in how many sessions that has told me to move down? You know, what I want to do is I want to back away and go, did you mean did you mean back off like away from the table? Or did you want me to move further down this way to the table? And, and am I allowed to touch the rail? I ask them questions. And I'm like, 
Is that somewhere in your rule book? I mean, do you have one upstairs that we that we can look at? Did I break the rules? Because that's a good question. And if I did, then I'm sorry for like going off on the box. Guy. Okay, your hand is not supposed to cross mid table. Maybe I mean it's close. It's close. But sometimes they don't call it. You don't worry about it until they call it. I mean, Irish setter used to get a stick. Point zero, right? Oh man, he was leaning right into him. He was almost had the stick in his hand. He wouldn't even be in the middle of the rail. He would go all the way to the edge of the rail until they told him to move left. Uh, yeah, Irish setter, dude. He's in there. That was his play. That was his play. And he and it didn't bother him. He he wanted to see if he'd get away with it. If he got away with it, then he was six, eight, six, eight inches closer to the wall. Pushing the envelope, dude. I like it. Well, you push it, you push it until they push back. Yeah, well, I didn't mean to push anything. I was just like. You were just playing. Playing my game. Casual, $620 buy-in, Vegas local guy come in to kill a Sunday afternoon. Yeah, and friendly. And he's a secret shopper. Yeah. He's a secret shopper for the Casino Tears podcast. And if they paid attention, I'm the one tipping the most out of anyone at that fucking table. So guess what? It would make sense to me. Logic dictates you should be nice to me. Yeah, at least you didn't. At least you didn't get argumentative with him or anything like. No, that. last thing I'm gonna do. I'm not one of those guys to get argumentative. I know a lot of those guys. But that was too soon for me. I'm like, okay, let me see how I do. So that's how that session went. I'm not gonna play there ever again. I would never go back in there. I, I will never go back in there. You should never go back in there. Our listeners should never go in there. Make them hang the curtains up on the door closed. As far as I'm concerned, I don't like heat. I don't like their heat. So, oh, so you got the heat there too. Everybody gets the heat there. Pacino. No way. I didn't know that. Dude. Everybody gets heat there, dude. You don't, you don't, oh, you don't. Oh, if you nice. were throwing them upside down, you wouldn't have got any heat, but you were setting the dice. You were throwing them to the wall. You were hitting a spot and you were, you were borderline crossing the center of the line. They're going to give you heat. Surprised you didn't get more. <laughs> Maybe it was my, you know, my charming personality that prevented more heat. But I did get some heat. So, Ed, that's awesome. Congratulations. You got heat at South Point. All legitimate players who ever go into South Point get heat. Oh, nice. So you're legitimate. I like that. You're legit. Yeah. Thank you. I'm <laughs> But But stay away, everyone. Fuck South Point. Yeah, man. We don't want any heat. Especially that was too early to get heat. It's way too early. It's Palm Sunday when you're there too. So don't. Yeah. Heat. Nobody needs heat on heat up South Palm Point, Sunday. Dude. We're supposed to be nice. We're like the sacrificial lamb <laughs> coming through the door. I mean, we're the sacrificial lamb. We got the we got the unblemished coat, baby. We're coming in, and all of a sudden, you want to give me heat because my pinky crossed the middle of the table. Yeah, dude. It's not like my arms are like. I mean, you're a small guy. No offense. I mean, you're like. Yeah. I mean, women will love you. If they ever saw you, but <laughs> no, that I'll take that. All right. So you left South Point with chips with, with an extra $5 chip. <laughs> yeah. Extra five bucks. All right. All right. Way to show them, dude. Way to show. Them. Yeah. After 12 shooters, man, on a pretty cold table. It's a pure discipline play. Yeah. Super discipline. And you knew it was time to leave. You probably should have left before you did. I should have left immediately when, when the heat showed up. Only if you were up, only if you were up, I mean, you were still shooting. I, there was, it was my first toss, dude. Yeah. I got heat after my first toss. That would be South Point. Yeah. I guess the, the story checks out. Yep. Colored up and got the fuck a win out. is a win. Yep. And that's what tipped, I say. You tipped five. Even you lost five bucks at least for a bottle of water. Okay, so you you tipped you, you dropped fifty bucks to dealers and to cocktail waitresses and still walked out with a nickel. Yep. I would never have tipped that high. But go ahead. If I don't like the place, if I'm not getting good dealer interaction, and if the dealer and if and if the, and if the uh, uh, waitress. Yeah. Doesn't have great cleavage. <laughs> I mean, it might not be a good. Listen, day. I got to tell you, my waitress was quite attractive, which actually was, I was a little bit surprised. That's important for a waitress. I was surprised, you know, because waitresses, you know, there's a correlation between hotels and there. It just is. It's Vegas. Come yeah. on. It's like, yeah. you know, yeah. some of the prettiest waitresses are going to be over at, are, are going to be over at the nicer hotels. It's just, just fact. Don't get mad, but you know. Yeah, but it's hard for them to get jobs there. Well, yeah, it's super competitive because you can make six figures. I mean, if they're if they're a nine 
There's plenty of ten. Yeah, you. I mean, it's super them, competitive. Right? You get six figures for these girls that work out at the pools. Yeah, and they only have to work a few, like six months out of the year, if that, and they get half the year off. Speaking of pools, you know they've got the six foot table open at the pool at uh, is it Golden Nugget right now? A six foot table. It's at the pool. It was a tub. I got a picture from a guy just yesterday. Oh, I'd like to think. see that. Two dealers or one dealer? One dealer, one stick, and three on each side. Oh, that sounds fun. It's there by the pool. He said bikinis were everywhere. Where is this? I'll take sheets. That's it. Golden nugget. All right. I'll add that to the list. But you got to, I don't know if you can get out there unless you're staying there. Really? I think, I guess you can, because I don't think he was staying there. It's one of the few left out there in the world. Usually they're pretty bouncy. Usually they got like little mini trampolines everywhere. But you might want to check it out since you like girls so much. There is nothing wrong with that. I mean, this town has got a lot of, you know, there's a lot. Well, I mean, if you like a short table, I mean, I love trying to to conquer those little six-foot tables. It's kind of a love-hate relationship. They used to have one at Harrow's in Biloxi, and, but it wasn't out there by the pool. It was inside. And it run that damn thing run 24 seven. I mean, that was in, in the middle of the night. That thing was still open. That sounds very, very fun, actually. I mean, you have to basically throw the dice like what? Two feet, <laughs> well, two feet when your arm is stretched out. Yeah. I throw a little, it's a six foot table, dude. Yeah. I throw a little further than that, but there's like a, three feet. Harris had their set up with a lot of bounce and they had the ATS on it. They had everything on it. It was a fantastic play. I'll tell you the story someday. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to hear it anytime you want to tell it, man. Just tell me when you want me to tell you, and I'll tell you. Dude, you just go ahead and tell it, man. Go ahead. Everybody who was a DI had a love-hate relationship with that table. With the six-footers? Yeah. You could either conquer it or it conquered you. Now, it was very, very bouncy. Oh, okay. It was very, very bouncy. It had a lot of rubber under the bottom. I've seen 40 and maybe even 50 roll hands on that little table. Oh, you... My first 400. Oh, nice. My first $420 six was on that table. Oh, historic. Yeah. Yeah. And so they took it out a couple of years ago, right after COVID, I guess. But it was a fun thing to try. I threw seven ace deuces in a row on that table once. Wow. Yeah, I hope you were parlaying those. I was not parlaying, but I was heavily pressing. Nice. Yeah. I was on a solo run. Solo run to Biloxi all by myself midweek. Nice. Lone wolf. We'll go over that someday too. But it was an interesting table. I mean, they had they had a they had a box, they had a stick, and they had a box. And the box the stick would help the box place the bets. I mean, or make the bets pay yeah. out. So they keep the game moving because you know, they got to, they want one, one person's got to play both sides that are pay both sides of the table. So the stick would help make the payouts and stuff like that. How many players are on together. there? Four? Six at max. Oh, wow. That sounds cool, man. I, I, I want to add that to my challenge list on top of getting that fucking jacket. Dude, there's not I'm, many out there anymore. Screw the screw the jacket, man. I'm gonna go God, I think I might want to go dry. All right, let me tell you this too. If you win two hats in the same 24 hour period, mm -hmm. don't cash your first hat uh voucher. Mm -hmm. If you win a second one, you can just go ahead and get a jacket. They'll give you a jacket. Uh, it's like trading in the stuffed animals at the at the yep, carnival. Yep. Exactly. You get that big one mm -hmm. for your girlfriend? Yeah, no. Yeah. Uh-uh, I want to do it the legit way, dude. Is it 40 or do you have to roll for an hour? They got two levels. They got two different jackets. They got a 40 level, a 40 roller jacket and a 50 roller jacket. Uh, what's the difference in the jackets? I don't know. The embroidery, I think. Man, our jackets are going to be so sweet, dude. Dude, the Casino Tears jacket that we're going to issue if we're ever at a table and we see <laughs> we see a 40 roller happen we should like we're gonna do that aren't we We hereby present you and we'll send them the hunting vest jacket dude i love that idea i love that idea they'll get the license in there with the handle like they will no longer want the fremont jacket they will want the craps vest yeah we might even get them like um but we got to witness it yep Yep. It can't be on none of this video shit. That you no, see on we got to witness it, dude. And then we might send them 40 roller yeah. plus, and they're going to get 
a casino tears, craps, hunting, vest. Yeah, with the automatic year license, with whatever hand that we have dubbed them after that. Sir, knight them or dub them a new handle if they don't have one. Ed, one day that might happen. We might be there and that might happen. I, I hope that would happen. I would gladly spend the money. It will happen. It will happen. Maybe it would be like grandma. It's like she just rolled. Grandma from Biloxi just had a 40-year-old. She gets a vest. Yep. That's a fact. It's going to happen, people. You got to uh, play with us. Oh you got to let God. us know you're a listener. Yeah. You got to have one of our chips in your pocket. I gave someone a Casino Tears chip. Oh, yeah? Tell me a story. Okay, so the next casino on the list was, since we were right there, Sheets was like, what about Silverton? No. <laughs> yeah, Ed. Mm -hmm. We went to Silverton next. So you know what I liked about Silverton? Please. I like that there's a Bass Pro Shop <laughs> connected right next to it because I'm a big believer. I mean, I used to fish when I was little with my dad. Yeah. It's not like I ever fish anymore. Probably went pike fishing. No, I didn't go pike fishing, dude. We used to go fishing in New Jersey at a reservoir and we used to catch like perch and smallmouth bass, shit like that. Sometimes we'd catch like brown trout. I didn't know they had any fish left in New Jersey. No, they do. New Jersey is actually like, it's got a bad rap, does as a state in general. But it's actually, there's some beautiful parts. So anyway. I have not been there. I appreciate the Bass Pro Shop logo. That logo is fucking sweet, isn't it? We got one just down the road here. <laughs> I mean, dude. I can go to Bass Pro Shops any day. I ain't got to go. I ain't got to go park in its parking lot to go to Silverton. Well, well, listen, I just think that that's amazing. You go into Silverton and I mean, it's like more Bass Pro Shop than Silverton. It's right there, dude. I took a picture of it. It's awesome. So you walk in and then you're greeted by a massive like aquarium. Mm -hmm. And I'll send you this picture, Ed. There was a huge like manta ray. I was standing there and it just came up to the glass. Given the fact that I was just in South Point, that I just drove down the road and I was just staring at a manta ray and a bunch of big fish. And that was cool. Anyway, we went up, check out the craps tables. Have you been to Silverton? I have once okay so we'll check this out you don't know this there are only two tables there and both of them are crapless wonderful that's that's an unusual thing for both of them to be crapless especially in las vegas and i thought that was cool too i talked to the floor who box i don't know he, i mean pretty much box because he was sitting there he was really nice by the way really nice guy and he was like yeah we got rid of the other regular tables so we just have two crapless tables i'm like that's cool yeah. Okay. You want to hear why, what threw me though? And what, this is the yeah. main reason why I'm not going to go back <laughs> is that, Oh, you're not going back there either. No, you know, you although, like fish. I like the Manta and I like the Bass Pro Shops. I, the crew warmed you're just up gonna to go me. shopping, but you're not going to play there. The crew warmed up to me because I was tipping, but, but they started out kind of, I got the warning you got heat again. You got heat twice in one day. Yeah, but it wasn't, it wasn't from the floor. It was from probably, it was a stick guy and the stick guys, you know, as he turned out to stick be a nice guys enough guy, he, does it. he was a nice enough guy when he realized I was betting I, when I started betting for them and it's like, oh yeah, maybe I should be cool with this dude because he is the only guy tipping the only fucking guy tipping. So typical, he was like, dice got to hit the back wall. Oh, really? Gee, I never knew that. Really? Is that a new rule or did y'all just make that up? I never knew that because I did that on purpose. So anyway, I got that first toss, dude. I mean, listen, points to Silverton for having just two crapless tables. So I might want to go there just to play it. It's privately, by the way, it's privately owned and that's probably why they make you, oh, did I tell you that you have to pay the fucking VIG up front on the extremes? That ain't right. Yeah, that turns me off. It does. That That's a nasty rule. Shame on them. Oh, I forgot, dude. Here, we're we're adding more piling onto the scales of the 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 cons. That was one. It's why I don't go down and play at, at Binion's is because you have to pay the VIG up front. I don't like paying the VIG up front. Do you? On the four and ten. I despise it. I mean, I'll do it. Yeah. But I'd rather but, and it's different. In Mississippi, each casino's got a little different rule on that. Yeah. Uh, some don't pay it at all until you win. 
Some still give you the four, five, nine, and ten without the VIG up front. But if you go on the extremes, they want the VIG. Yeah. And for the life of me, it confuses me. I've accepted it. But if I've already paid you for the three and the eleven, I've paid you one dollar. Yeah. Now I want to go to the two and the twelve. Mm -hmm. Why do I owe you three dollars instead of two dollars? Well, I get it. it's a five percent commission or five percent big to place those bets. I get it, but I did them at separate times. I didn't go out there and go give me a hundred dollars. Yeah. I, I think it's just because they're fucking greedy, dude. That's why they're fucking. That's just the way it works. They're fucking greedy. You just gotta live. You gotta you gotta play with their rules. Yeah, it's right. It's their rules. I don't like I don't like paying the big. Ed, listen. I hate paying the fucking VIG up front. I hate it. I won't go back. That's one of my pet peeves. I, and it just is such a bummer. And it's just like, you greedy, you're already taking money from everyone. You are printing money. You're already preying on everyone. It's like, just that you won't get my business. It might be petty, but I'm not going back to Silverton because I don't like paying VIGs up front. And that's why I don't go to Binion's and I want to go to Binion's. Here's the other thing. Same exact thing at both these casinos, Binion's and Silverton. You place bets for the dealers, you can't control their bets. They have to take down their bets. Mm -hmm. I'm, when I won, I wanted to fucking, you follow me, press those babies up, right? Put and, them on the pass line with you, they can't touch it. Man, dude, that bug that bugs me. And and it was an at Binion's, it's cool at night. You know, it's, it's open, you've got a lot of traffic, three girls that, at the crew, and they're like, yeah, we can't do this. We have to take our bets on. I'm like, oh, that's so like, that is just wrong. It's wrong. And then wrong. So two strikes, both the same strikes at both of those casinos. Okay. All right. I'm not, do we have, I'm not, three, do, do we have three strikes at the silver? I mean, not really, because you know what? The dealers warmed up and the box slash floor guy, he was cool and nice and he was friendly and welcoming um, I think it's just more the uh, the people that own that place because it is privately owned. So they just those are the rules. You just didn't like the rules. I didn't like the rules. I'm a long hair dude. Otherwise, okay. So a scale of one to ten, that one would give you a five. Okay, I was gonna say five. I was gonna yeah. guess five. Yeah, you know me now. You 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 know. We hope you enjoyed this podcast, and we'll tell all of your fellow craps playing friends about it. Please follow Casino Tears on Apple Podcast, Spotify, or your favorite podcast app. If you like the show, please rate it five stars and leave a review. The best and most fun way to contact us would be to call and leave a message on our official Casino Tears vent line, 229-NO7. You can also email us at no7 at casinotears.com. New episodes drop weekly every Tuesday. And lastly, to help support this podcast, you can visit our Patreon at patreon.com slash casinotears. On behalf of Roll to Win Craps from Alabama and 10 Ton is number one from Las Vegas, thanks for listening. <laughs>